Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today I decided that we will go out to multiplayer and try to chase down some rare pheasants because that's one thing that I really need for the lodge to make a multi-mount with our diamond pheasant and we have yet to see any of the rares besides a melanistic female in the early access phase but I'd really need to get some during the live server so now that the game, or now that the map is finally out, we can actually do that. So I figure that's what we're going to spend today's video doing. Now we are going to use a different gun than we typically would use. Uh, we've got ourselves the Strecker side-by-side 20 gauge Raven. Figured we would do our best to see how this shotgun does. Because I haven't tried 20 gauge on the Pheasants. I've tried out the 12 gauge and I've tried out the 16 gauge. But I have yet to try the 20. So we'll see how it performs and hopefully we can find ourselves some good Pheasants. So the original host of this server ended up leaving. Which means we have free reign of this entire map. So we're going to first check out the hotspot down here. And probably kill whatever Pheasants we can find down here. And then I think we're going to probably check out the whitetail and mule deer time and all the other times that I can think of like bobcat and just see if there's anything good. Uh, seems like almost every time I have a set goal for a video nowadays we end up changing it halfway through because of uh, one thing or another and this time seems like it's going to be about the same. So. I guess we're just going to try and find something good. I mean, I'm going to try and prioritize pheasants still, but I want to be able to uh, hunt this entire map and check out as many species as we can now. Okay, so I might be completely wrong, but I believe this little pheasant right here looks a little bit darker than the others. But it's so hard to tell with the way the lighting is and just the angle of the sun right now, but... I think it looks slightly darker than the other females, and if that's the case, we want to try and get it down because it definitely could be a melanistic. So now that we've got the uh, pheasants in sight and want to get a little bit closer, uh, we're going to have to try and sneak. I don't want them to immediately fly off or else they're just going to go straight into that brush and we probably won't see them again. So we'll try to get as close as we possibly can without spooking them and then try to take them out. There's also some turkeys around here, but they don't seem to be anything too special. Well, the closer I get, the less it looks like that is anything special. I don't think we have a melanistic pheasant anymore. It's probably just the lighting, but we'll still try to get close enough to take a couple of them down. I'm hoping that we can get both of those roosters if possible. All right, let's see if we can power through the lag and get a couple of these roosters down. Uh, it's going to be kind of tough to aim with this low of FPS, but I think we can do it if we are uh, careful enough. Oh, there we go. We got one of them. And I don't think the other one has even took off yet. Not the one that we want, at least. So, we're actually going to get two of them, thankfully. There he goes. Oh my gosh, that's hard to aim. But we got him on the second one. And we might even get this third. Yep. That is a third pheasant on the ground. And this one is a molting. Uh, that is my favorite plumage type that isn't a rare. So that's cool to get. I do want to get a big one of those eventually. Preferably a diamond to put in a multi mount. I think it would look really good. But there's a gray one at 1730. That's our biggest one so far on the day. All right, so that is a 9 to 11 Rio Grande turkey along with another 7 to 9 right next to it. We're going to try and get this one because... It could definitely have a chance at making diamond. All 9 to 11 weight estimate turkeys do have a chance. So hopefully this one can end up making it. Um, I think we should be close enough. Let me double check real quick just to make sure. Uh, we're 225 away. We might want to get a little bit closer. And then we should be able to take a shot. And it actually sounds like we have some mule deer down here. Doesn't look like anything too special though. Alright, we should be good now. But he's kind of tucked behind a couple hens. So this might not be the easiest shot in the world, but I think we should be able to get him. Uh, if we can't get him on the first shot, we'll at least get one of the hens out of the way. And that should be good right there. We got him plus a couple hens. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure why, but all of these animals over here have started traveling and a lot of them were nervous or attentive. And I can't figure out why they just randomly started going attentive and alert and all that without any reason as far as I can tell. I'm pretty far away from them still and didn't shoot near them. 
but they all just started getting spooked, so I'm wondering if there's maybe a bobcat near? I don't think so, but there is some pheasants, and we definitely need to try and get up to those before they run off, because it does appear that it might be the end of their uh, feed time over here. Oh, oh my gosh, that... That's a max weight estimate coyote track. Um, we're going to have to chase that down because I do need a diamond one for a multi-mount with our bobcat. So I think we're going to prioritize that. But we will quickly grab all these and probably grab one of those uh, pheasants if we can get one down. And that is our turkey. It's nothing special, unfortunately, but... We got ourselves a new mission, track down that Max Wade estimate coyote. And also the only thing I have on me that can take it is the air rifle, so if this is a level 9, we're gonna have to take it with probably one of the most difficult guns to take a coyote out with, which is gonna be interesting. I don't have the 243 with me at the moment, so there's not really anything else I can do, unless I do buckshot out of the 20 gauge, but... I don't even know if I'd be able to get that close, so that's probably out of the question. Well, it looks like we finally found ourselves the zone that we needed. 7 to 11.30, it is a resting zone. Uh, maybe we can find them somewhere around in these fields. I don't think so, but we can for sure wait for them to come back here. I think it shouldn't be too long before they come back to this area, and maybe we'll even be able to spot them on their way back, so... I think we're gonna post up like over there maybe and just kind of wait I don't really know what else we can do well that's not him but oh that is right there that's quite unfortunate it's just a level 7 well it was worth a check I suppose but not anything that we will further pursue Ooh, there we go we found ourselves something good finally we got a level 3 white-tailed deer chilling over here in one of my favorite drink zones. Uh, I'm still sad that I deleted this zone on my own map, but I joined into this multiplayer and we've got ourselves a level 3 right there. Hopefully this guy ends up making diamond. It does appear to be one of the racks that makes it, so I think we should be good. Uh, somebody else just fast traveled here though, so we're gonna have to be really fast. I uh, don't necessarily trust this. So let's see if we can just... That should be good. I think we got him. That should have been a good shot. And he did not go far at all, so I'm not really going to waste time with looking at him. Let's just go ahead and pick him up. And it is a diamond at 256. This is the rack that I really like for the diamond whitetail. I think this is probably the best one as of now. It just looks really, really nice. And it's probably the more the most realistic one that we currently have just because the G2s aren't excessively tall They're still a little bit taller than the rest of the tines But they're more in line with what they should be and I think the only thing that could make this rack better is if it had a little bit more tip to tip spread But overall I really like it So I'm happy that we managed to get this guy and I think since we actually just took this out we might as well take a moment to look at a couple whitetail trophies that I got before I ended up getting the great one, but I just didn't have time to put them into a video because that great one came so fast, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at a diamond that we got about 100 kills before getting the great one. And then after that we will take a look at a melanistic that I actually got off of Leighton Lakes the night before the update dropped, giving us Rancho Del Arroyo. Alright, so first up let's go ahead and take a look at the melanistic white-tailed deer. This was actually taken the night before they released the patch for Rancho Del Arroyo. So this was kind of my last ditch efforts to try and get a great one on Leighton Lakes before we started the grind on Rancho Del Arroyo. And I spent pretty much the entire night trying to grind for just something to happen. And about 100 kills in, we ended up getting this guy right here. And though he isn't the biggest melanistic in the world, just getting one is rare enough. So I was pretty happy to see him pop out of there. And what, he, what happened with this zone is it's in a spot where in order for me to even see them, I usually have to spook them out of the zone 
and then I jump into the tripod and take them as they're coming back and so I was pretty shocked to see this guy walk out and it was a pretty nice surprise. Now it is the smallest melanistic that we've killed but it's still cool. We actually can make a melanistic only mount if we want to now and I'm really debating doing that and then just putting our big albino and our big piebald in with uh, another one of the big piebalds or so something like that. But it's hard to say what we'll end up doing in a day or two because I'm probably going to wait until they actually release the patch that fixes the fur types on the white tail deer so I can actually uh, tell what I'm actually putting in them because right now I don't remember what some of the trophies were originally because they're all common furs now for the rares. Uh, but once they fix that bug, then we will make the mount. This next one right here was the very first diamond that we got as a respawn on Rancho Del Arroyo. We did get one diamond before, as you guys remember, but that was an initial spawn. That was on our map the second that we opened it up, so that one doesn't really count as a respawn in my books. So this was the first true respawn diamond that we got, and we got it about 100 kills before getting the great one. And this guy right here was found shortly after turning off the Hunt Club beta, and you guys have heard me talk about it briefly and I know Grim has talked about it quite a bit but apparently there's a bug with Hunt Club Beta that seems to affect the spawns and just the uh, reliability of the white-tailed deer and all animals for that matter. Nobody knows why but it does seem to have an effect on it and the second that I turned the Hunt Club bait off I noticed there was a lot more 85 to 100 bucks they were getting to their zones on time and I was also noticing that they were uh, respawning more reliably and we ended up getting this diamond one run after I turned it off, so I definitely think there's something to it. And for those of you that haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it, but I decided to take this guy with the Kuso, and I gotta say, it did really well. I'm very impressed with how powerful the 16 gauge slugs are, and they dropped him pretty quickly, and he was a pretty good sized buck too. He was only like .19 away from max weight. So both the bucks that we got off a of Rancho so far have been really good diamonds. A max weight and then one that was .19 away. Unfortunately, we've only got one rare, but I mean, I can't really complain too much. We got the great one within 700 kills along with these two diamonds and the nice piebald. So overall, we've done really good on Rancho. Are you kidding me? I think that's a diamond potential level two. And that guy is just blasting away. So let's get that on the ground. This might just become one of the most insane whitetail videos I've put out since that great one. And well, I guess this is the first whitetail video since then, so it's not hard to beat, but uh... <laughs> you guys know what I mean. This might be one of the better whitetail videos that I've had without it being the great one. Because this very well could be the third diamond in one video. Two off a of multiplayer and then that one that I got a couple days before getting the great one. This is just insane. This server is virtually untouched for Whitetail and it shows there is so many good ones. And man, that really looks like it's going to be another diamond. I think it is. Oh my gosh, it's so close. 254.20. That could have been our second diamond Whitetail at the same lake on the same server, but unfortunately it fell just short. It's still a really nice one. Like, don't get me wrong, that's a good buck but it just didn't quite make it unfortunately. You know, some people in multiplayer just don't understand what personal space is, but I mean, I can't really blame him. This lake is one of the best whitetail lakes on the map and it really just showed that by getting two very large whitetail deer, but it doesn't look like the rest of this lake has anything good. I checked both of these herds. There is an 85 to 100 buck right behind there yeah this guy right here but he's nothing too special so there's one more spot we can check which is over here so we're gonna jump to this lodge and then run over there just look at the sheer amount of white-tailed deer at this spot this is insane I don't see any big ones but there is a lot of them here that is so many white tail this is one of those mega herds of like 25 you love to see these. Unfortunately, when you're grinding for the great one, these never stay this large. They almost always either go dough only or dwindle down to like two bucks. But it's still cool to see them on a fresh server like this in multiplayer, which that's one of the reasons I love Rancho for multiplayer so far. There's just so many good servers that are freshly 
freshly opened up that nobody's really hunted. And you can find really awesome stuff like this and like that diamond buck that we just got. It's really cool. But since there's nothing here, I think we're going to go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge and take a look at all these trophies that we have to show off today. So I have absolutely no idea where we would even put this guy. I mean, we've pretty much got all of the whitetail that we could possibly want in this lodge and most of them are better than the ones that we have found recently. I don't want to replace any of the ones in this mount because we have our 291 whitetail and our uh, bugged great one, which is this 271 diamond that I believe is right here. So yeah, it's currently bugged out with that fabled piebald skin, but that should be fixed in the next update. But I don't really know where we could put these. We're probably going to end up putting them in a secondary lodge. So as far as I could gather based off of looking back at the footage from when I killed this melanistic whitetail deer, it looks like it should be the one that scores 149 and the old one that I had from the beginning of our great one grind when they first released it should be 204. So I think I got them all. Now uh, with the bug currently the melanistics are showing up as piebalds in the lodge and the piebald is showing up as a common. So. I hope I picked the right ones. Uh, if not, then we'll have to redo this mount once they fix it. But uh, for now, this should be them. It's just unfortunate I can't show off the actual melanistic himself because he looks like a piebald right now. But I mean, it is what it is. There's not really anything we can do to change that. So let's just go ahead and end the video there. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we've been having some insane whitetail luck recently, whether it's on the Great One grind or in multiplayer. Everything's been going our way with the whitetail, and, and obviously a lot of it with the multiplayer has to do with the fact that it's a brand new map and there's a lot of uh, fresh spawns, a lot of people that just got the map that haven't even hunted whitetail, so we're able to get a lot of cool trophies from multiplayer. So if you guys are looking for a whitetail, I highly recommend going into multiplayer right now. It is going to be the best way that you guys can find your diamond whitetail, I'd say, at the moment at least. So I definitely recommend doing that. But with that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of this video or what you think we should do in the next video because there's a lot of stuff we have not looked at ever since Rancho Del Arroyo released. So let me know, do you guys want to see me go for some geese? Do you want me to try to grind some of the new species and get diamonds and rares of them? Or what would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!